<laughs> I thought everybody in this precinct was supposed to be on the same team. Whoa, whoa. I had a good idea, Lieutenant. What difference does it make that it came from a rookie? Thank you. You're yelling at me, and I am a lieutenant. That's what they tell me. Now, what is all this about? I read in the district reports about a judge being killed. Now, all I wanted to do was easy. All I wanted to do was teletype the other enforcement agencies and get the details. All I wanted was to find out if there'd been any other judges murdered in those areas. What for? Because Terry said that the attempt on Caldwell had a ritualistic feeling about it, like an execution. Sounds like you had a good idea. That's what I thought, but not according to Hager. According to Detective Hager, rookies aren't supposed to have ideas. Well, let me tell you, Lieutenant, you're not close to looking at that. Back a little, please. He's off. That's why I came in here. I wanted to find out if I could get your permission to go ahead on this thing. Well, all right. Why didn't you do that in the first place? Now, go over to communications, find a guy named Clawson, tell him I sent you. He's a friend of mine. Thank you, Lieutenant. Thank you. That's good. Did you ever have the feeling you've lived through all this before? Yes, sir. But here's something we don't want to live through too often. Somebody shot Owens. Webster's with him at Memorial. said he was it was the other way around oh, lieutenant uh... i know i know so you want me to shut up you're up tight over all us i want to talk to you a little maybe i can distract you this is uh the second time in less than 24 hours that i've been here with a friend who's uh close to dying I don't like it. Lieutenant. Yes. The doctor says Officer Owens is going to be just fine. The bullet went through the shoulder flesh, but didn't even nick the bone. Can I see him? Well, just for a minute. He's heavily sedated, and he really needs a rest. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Why don't you do that, too? Go home, take a rest. You look like you need it. Thank you, Lieutenant. First, I want to drop into Chris, and then I want to stop by the judge's room for a few minutes. Hello. Officer Terry Webster is here, alive. I was afraid I'd miss, but I couldn't stay around to see for sure. No more mistakes, Lou. Remember, it's got to be done and done right. You understand me? All right, Evie, all right. This time there'll be no slip-ups, I promise. And you take care of Caldwell, huh? That you can count on. <laughs> Sleep. 
It's not that. I don't understand why he shot me. You'll have plenty of time to think of that. It's all around, Terry. It's wrong. This is a list of all the judges in the country who've died recently of other than natural causes. Now, I've crossed out any accidentals, like vehicles, hunting. One of them committed suicide anyway. I've come up with two very peculiar deaths, both in this state. Take a look at that. Judge Cornelius Ralton, Santa Carla hanged. Judge Eugene Chambers bracketed multiple gunshot wounds. The man in bracket was tied and blindfolded. The man in Santa Carla had a black hood over his head. Executed. That's what Chris and I thought about Caldwell. That's what gave me the idea in the first place. Now, this list I've got coming up is all the men who stood before these respective judges. I'm going to take it upstairs to Central Computer and compare it to the same list for Judge Caldwell, see if there's any similarities. changing the oxygen assist containers. And on whose authority would that be? Dr. Winfield's, of course. If you'll step over to the nurse's station, I'll show you the instructions. We'll go in and check on the man you're guarding him, you know. Lieutenant, there's something wrong with the judge. Hmm? Get a doctor up here, we've got an emergency. You get on the phone, seal this hospital up, hide the drum. Let's get nitrogen. Uh. 